Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 1, the Serian Encounter. For more point and click adventure game action or text parser adventure game action, we are back and we've met the Coronians for the first time in the game. These little guys running around up here. We've got our little skimmer here, which is going to take us over to a distant town across the sand, but we um, discovered last time that's a little mini game in itself and it's a little bit tricky. So we're going to probably utilize the game speeds function to be able to, to do that effectively. Uh, but I've I've also been warned by both S. Thomas and Fighting Kitchen that there is something in this room that I need to do before leaving and if I don't do it I will get stuck right later on in the game and be very very annoyed with myself so let's um, look around a bit more. So it's uh, most interesting indeed, uh, primitive and new technology, computer console, right so I think it's to do with this, look console. The console consists of a monitor and a cartridge slot. There are also ah okay, so there are also some readouts which indicate the status of this of some of the mechanisms. So can we use cartridge slot then? Because we do have a cartridge. I wonder if that's it. Uh, use cartridge in slot. Uh, use cartridge slot. How would you like to do it? Put cartridge in slot the cartridge snaps neatly into the slot and the screen comes alive whosoever shall read this my name is dr slash vohall i am a scientist with the star generator project aboard the star lab arcada we have just successfully completed development and testing of the star generator during this time i have come to believe that our progress has been monitored by others i fear that the Sarians may have learned of our mission if my fears prove true, the Star Generator and the people of our universe are in serious jeopardy. The Star Generator is a miraculous device. Used as intended, it will help preserve life for eons to come. Used as a device for evil, it would cause the destruction of millions of lives and enslave all who oppose the Sarians. Encoded within this cartridge are all plans and specifications for the construction of the Star Generator. Should any disaster befall the Star Generator project, scientists would be able to create a duplicate of the Star Generator with this information. Please guard this with your life. Return it to the Xenon ruling body as quickly as is possible. Important note, the Star Generator is capable of self-destruction. This was introduced to the system as a precaution. To activate it, one must enter the code 6858. Right, okay, so I wonder if this is what we... Um, we need to potentially know by looking at this so let's just i'm just going to write that down so i've got it to hand just in case a five minute timer will begin to account to count down beware anyone within five kilometers of the star generator will be in, in danger once the timer has been initiated please be careful and good luck right so perhaps we're going to have to find the star generator then and activate the self-destruct so that it takes out the Sarians, maybe um so let's let's uh mm, i think we should be able to overwrite that so um cartridge red so now let's use the skimmer uh okay let's see if we can do it from this side uh, get in skimmer i should do shouldn't i uh, turn key it was you turn the key and suddenly the jet turbines begin to whir the skimmer begins to shake beneath you as its platform slowly moves into the launch tube you can't help but wonder what you've gotten yourself into this time yeah we can't help but wonder um right let's <laughs> right we'll try normal to begin with we might have to go for slow if it if it is too difficult upon reaching the surface uh you throttle up and zoom off into the sunset right okay well, okay, it's still pretty tricky, even on normal, it turns out. Can we just stay at the edge? We might be able to just stay at the edge, actually. I mean, so far it seems to be working. Uh, I mean... Oh no, okay, we can't we okay, okay, we can't we can't just stay at the edge. <laughs> that doesn't work, it <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be tricky, isn't it? This is going to be tricky. Okay, let's let's give it another go. Uh get in skimmer. 
turnkey. Right, so we're going to have to... Do you know what? I'm going to save here as well. And I'm going to call it... Uh, we should be able to overwrite that now. So uh, desert, we'll call it. Desert skimmer. Okay, let's change the speed to slow then because that was what S. Thomas recommended, using the slow speed to dodge the rocks. Um, it might take a little while to actually... Oh, wow, okay. So I'm not sure that's actually going to help us because even the... The thing itself moves very slowly on the slow speed. <laughs> oh, this could be tricky. Right, and as well, if I double tap the same direction, of course, it's going to stop me. So I need to make sure not to do that. Okay, here we go. We're going very slowly, it's got to be said. Okay. Oh. Okay, we just about got through there. It's going very slowly, so it might take a little while to get through here, guys, but it's better than us just repeatedly dying, right? So... Okay, we'll stay... No, no, no! Oof, okay, that was lucky. Right, so the town is getting nearer. I can see the little white dots starting to grow. Oh, this is difficult, isn't it? Like, the game tries to kill you in very interesting ways normally, but this is something else altogether. And it's actually... Oh, no, okay, we're critical now. That's not good. I'm worried. I am worried a bit. Okay, maybe the, the answer is to stay still and only move when you see the rocks coming, then. Okay, so far, so good. I mean, we might have screwed ourselves early on with this by taking so much damage at the start. Okay, it's definitely getting closer now. Okay. We're still going. I mean, if we pull this off on critical, I'm going to be very, very happy. <laughs> okay. We're doing all right, we're doing all right. I don't want to jinx it or anything, but we're going fine. Wow, the noise is so repetitive, isn't it? It's just like a tiny little loop of audio. Oh, is this the, the whole episode is going to be this at this rate? Oh, no! Oof. Okay, we got lucky there. We got very, very lucky indeed there. Whew! That was pretty intense. You've managed to successfully navigate through the treacherous boulder field. Yes! And are quite relieved to see that you've reached the settlement. Wow, look at this place. It reminds me a little bit of Tatooine. Our score's really gone up as well. Welcome to Eulance Flats, which of course I've been told as well. <laughs> I completely missed it. It went straight over my head when I read it in the last episode. But it was when I was reading the comments back, I was like, oh yeah, that's just a play on words of flatulence, isn't it? So, <laughs> pretty funny. Um, after a truly stone-crushing journey, you have miraculously arrived safely in Eulance Flats, and just in time too because the skimmer's power cell has been drained. It will take some time to recharge itself. This place isn't quite what you had expected. It is semi-bleak at best. Okay, so let's save then. Um, we'll save here and we'll call it Eulance Flats. Like so. So there seems to be some sort of uh, an alien walking around out here. Whether or not he's hostile, I don't know. Right, leave the skimmer. Uh, let's... Who's the... What, let's go... Say, this is a genuine Fountain Sand Skimmer. I've been looking for one just like it. I would wonder if you would accept 30 Buckazoids. Uh, no? Fine, be that way. Yeah, we might need it, so... I, I don't really want to get... I mean, what are 30 Buckazoids? Are we, are we going to need Buckazoids? I, I honestly don't know. Um... So let's, do we have to look, skimmer. Sand skimmer is in one passenger mode of transportation. It looks quite blah, blah, blah. Currently dark and a keyhole with a key. Should we take the key? Can we take the key? Okay, we can. So I wonder if actually somebody could, is he back again? Okay, this is my final offer and I'm only doing it because you look like you need it pretty bad. I'll give you 30 buckazoids and I'll throw in this swell jetpack. I only used it once. Works great in zero gravity. You'll love it. Is it a deal? Yes or no? Uh, 
No, go away. Fine, be that way. Anyway, on we go. Let's let's look around them. This guy really wants his skimmer. Um, you're at the south edge of Ulent's Flats. The area is protected from predators by an electromagnetic, uh, sorry, an electronic barrier which runs around the perimeter of the settlement. Okay. Uh, what are these like? Ships? Look, ship. There are a couple of other craft here which, uh, which might belong to the beings inside this building. What's this thing? You're standing against the protective barrier encircling the unit's slats. Due to the fact that you are land-based, you are not able to pass. Okay. That's... I mean, they could have killed us there. Really, they could have killed us. That could have been another death, but it was kind. Uh, there's a small rounded structure here with a door on one side. It is typical of some of the prefab structures used in frontier areas years ago. Okay. Can we go in? <laughs> Check out this place! It's... This is easy top. <laughs> it is easy top, isn't it? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. This is a seedy little place. Galactic riffraff are seated at the bar. The bartender drops by occasionally to serve them. A band is cranking out some of the more popular tunes in the quadrant. There is a slot machine standing near the bar. You notice a sweeper in the lower corner of the room. It must get messy here. No one seems to notice or care that you've entered the bar. Is that the sweeper? Can we look at the sweeper? The sweeper is a small motorised device which scans the floor for debris and removes it within moments of detection. There is nothing special about it. I thought, oh my god, what is going on? What is this? Oh! Uh... Okay. What's this, some sort of, like, gambling machine? F4 bets $1, F10 to quit, F6 bets $2, F8 bets. Should we just bet one dollar and see what happens? You're broke. Oh. What will it be? I've got beer and it's two buckazoids. Uh, we haven't. So did we need the buckazoids then? Look banned. On stage are two heavily bearded gents and a relatively clean-shaven drummer. They're one of the hottest bands in the quadrant. Yes, that's that's easy top, isn't it? Um, let's look at the bar. Some of the stranger galactic riffraff are seated at the bar. The bartender drops by occasion to serve them. Seems to be a vacant spot at the right end of the bar. So can we... Is that Elvis as well? Um, sit at bar? There are no services on which to place your posterior other than the floor. And you don't want to do that. <laughs> They're just going to keep playing. Okay, talk bartender. Bartender is only interested in selling his wares. So you've... Okay. Uh, buy, buy beer. Hey, what are you trying to pull? What do you mean you can't pay? Take off before I have you fed to grill. Right, fine. Uh, right, so we don't have any money. So did we need to let this guy take the thing? Huh. Oh, there's more places, maybe not, okay. Uh, look around. What's that other place at the back? This is the back of the bar at the southeast end of Ulent's flat. What is that? Is that... Look, what is that, like, pile of something? There is a strange pile of very fine white powder here. It off its origin puzzles you. It has a strange burnt smell to pick it. Is that the stuff the little sweeping thing is? Pick up powder. The extremely fine dust seeps between your fingers. There is no need for it anyway, especially you can... Okay, so it seems like it's maybe the dust. Droids be us. It's <laughs> pretty funny. Look at shop. This is the exterior of Droids be us. There is a door here. Okay, let's go into here then. See what this is about. Welcome to Droids Be Us, the finest emporium for mechanised beings in the quadrant. We have a complete line of droids for any purpose imaginable. Well, almost any. All top of the line, but I suppose you would probably be interested in our sale items. Please walk this way. Uh, okay, I'll go up there in a sec. Let's look around. This is the inside of Droids Be Us. The room has a pedestal in the middle and a stairway and balcony toward the back. A variety of droids adorn the floor space. Uh, look, droids? There is nothing I can tell you that the salesman hasn't already. Okay. We call that one the Peacemaker. It's used primarily in security. 
In a crime situation, it's capable of apprehending, trying, sentencing, and punishing the offender on the spot. Swift and effective, and only 368 buckazoids, 294 with a coupon. That one is a collector's item, one of the very first droids ever built. Someday, that rare piece is going to bring me a small fortune at auction. It's not for sale. Hmm, okay. Yeah, we know about that one. Let's check the one on the far side, maybe. That compact unit is often used for mining. It is short and stocky and quite strong for its size. It is designed to work in areas which may be hazardous to non-mechanised beings. 325 buckazoids for years of service, 294 with coupon. Okay, well, we've made it to Droidsby Us. We got across the Ulent's Flats. That guy was trying to buy the skimmer and I wonder if maybe we needed to sell that to him because it seems like we need buckazoids to do anything in this place. So... Yeah, maybe we need to buy one of these droids or something. I honestly don't know, but I guess we'll find out. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games and Wayne. I really do appreciate the support, so thank you so much for that. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.